This is a quick tutorial on how to load up your Eclair ACL 16mm film camera and a couple of tips that people have showed me so that you can get a perfect take every time. I have here a 200 foot magazine and a 100 foot daylight spool of film that I'm going to load into it. To get started, you simply press this little button and that will release this switch and you can take off the lid. If this were a 400 foot reel, then this center thing would be a knob and you would turn that and that would you would hear the lid pop off. But this is a 200 foot, so you do that little switch. So put that out of the way for now. And if this was a 400 foot, again, I'll try to make this helpful for if you're loading 400 foot spools, there would be a platter with the magazine. And then onto the platter, you would put a core. You know, your film would come in a core like this. And if you're doing a 400 foot one, you definitely need to be using a changing bag. However, if you're doing a daylight spool like this, you don't need a changing bag, that's the nice thing about it. The sprocket side goes down, so the film is going to go in this slot here. What you'll actually see is that it, it, it loops once around to go in. And then, if you can see, there's a little slot right here, and the film just goes in there. There should be two little rollers if this is a 400 foot reel, the slot is actually up here, but uh, again, we're just going to do the 200 foot magazine. And then you simply just keep pushing this through until it, you kind of feel it coming through the other side. Now to close this, you push this little thing down and slide it over, and now that's locked into place. So we're done on this side. I'll put the case back on. You kind of wedge this in this way, wedge it in there, press it down, make sure it's firm, clip it. Now you want to make sure that, they're a little finicky sometimes, you want to make sure that it's not, that it is in there all the way, because you don't want that popping open right in the middle of the shot. Next we go to the take-up side, this latch comes off the same way. So pull out, pull out, you know, quite a few feet for yourself, and what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and feed it through. It's going to come out these edges. And in fact, that's your pressure plate. I'm going to feed that through. Comes out like that. Pull it all the way through. And then same thing back here. Okay. Now here's the part where it's different on, unfortunately, every magazine. So I have, I have here a particularly simple uh, magazine design. This is a French one, and it has a sort of a little bit of a different gearing than you might, yours might have. But the one thing that they do usually have is they usually have arrows like this, and they sort of tell you which uh, way the film goes. But for this particular one, almost all of them have a gear right here. Wrap it around there. This particular one goes inside like that and then it's gonna go around like this but um, we need to do is make sure this is uh, good and in there there's these little teeth and you want to make sure that the perfs are in there so close that okay so here's where one of the first little tricks how long you want this loop to be that's really critical in filming um, is the size of this loop you want it to be it's going to control how sort of smooth the camera runs and how well you do this loop. So what Eclair recommends that you do is you use the edge of this as a guide and you fold this down until it measures right there like that. So that's exactly the size that you want. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in there and again you need to make sure it's in the teeth. The teeth have it. And you can tell by pulling this, giving this a good tug make sure it's tight. That, that tells you that, that the uh, perforations are inside these little teeth there. And then measure it. Make sure it's perfect. Now if, if this were a little too big or too small, what I would do is I would just open this up and then I would slide, you know, a couple of frames, you know, forward or backward as needed. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much it for these, uh, for this part of it. And now we just want to do the take-up spool, so you need a take-up spool, and 
there's a little slot. Just put it inside. Some people like to fold it. I just uh, put it in like that. Wind it up, all the slack. Place it on. Sometimes you gotta coax it on there a little bit. Same way with this little pin. And that's it. The film is loaded into this. So what I like to do, you, you then press you press this in, you don't leave the loop hanging out. So you press it in, and you really want if you notice, you can move your finger along and it changes the loop. What happens when you first turn your camera on, um, and I'm going to show you this in a minute, is that this side of the loop is going to want to take up all the slack and sort of steal it away from the bottom. So usually what you do is you, is you give the bottom a little bit bigger loop than the top. Because then as soon as we put it in the camera, it's going to, when it finds that next frame, it's going to kind of even it out like that. So that looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to put the cover back on. OK, let's put this on the camera, and I'm going to show you the next trick. OK, so we've got an ACL-1 camera here. If you notice the funky lens, this has got a Nikon lens mount on it. Anyway, I am going to first, uh, you want to make sure your latch is open if this is a one, an ACL-1 like this one is. And then take my magazine, put it in from the bottom and snap it in until it clicks. Make sure it's locked if it's one of those type. Now, here's where some of the tricks come in. What you want to do is, <clears throat> your motor may not look like this, but it should have a little inching wheel on it. What you want to do is you want to give it a turn or two, and you want to listen for a little click. You may not always hear it, but what that is is that's the claw connecting with one of the perfs. So it kind of, you don't want to just start the motor right away. You want to inch it at least a little bit, and now let's give it a listen. It sounds nice and quiet. I heard that click at the beginning. I'm not sure if you could hear that, but that was the uh, apparently when I inched it, it didn't it didn't get it. So now here's a little trick that you can actually do, and I do this myself. That is, I like to take off the take up side of the magazine while it's on the camera. And I'm going to pretend like, or I'm going to put this back on. So remember if I told you before, you can adjust the loop up and down like so. And I told you to make the bottom loop a lot bigger than the top loop. Because when you put this in, the top loop, as you start inching it, the top loop is going to get bigger. So you start with the bottom loop being rather large. Place this on. Now when I start inching, you'll see what I was talking about. I don't know if you heard that click, but that was it seating itself. There you can see that the top loop got a little bit bigger and the bottom loop lost a little bit. Um, sometimes it's more extreme than that. What I like to do is I like to, keep the, I like to keep the cover of the magazine off and go ahead and run it for just a few frames. And I just like to look and see that the loop looks very consistent on both sides, that it's not touching any of these gears that it's not rubbing too much against there. So this is what a good loop looks like. And it also sounds pretty smooth. And you'll, you'll get the feeling of what your camera sounds like. And what you don't want to see is you don't want to see anything extreme on any of these sides. So at that point, I would just put my cover back on. And this thing is pretty much ready to shoot. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So have fun shooting on film. and. I'd love to see anything that you shoot with your ACL, so please feel free to either post a video reply or put a link in the comments or something like that. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.